Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to some. Thank you for coming in. I will go past, that's okay. So who all we have in here today? Anybody? going to join me in a chat before we start correcting. Anybody here? Anybody here? we have here? I see two folks. Crafting in my house coat today. It's cold in here. But I have my heater on. I'm waiting for somebody to say something. I don't know who you see is. Well, I can properly tell you. Hello. So, since nobody's talking, I'll go ahead and uh, introduce what we're doing today. We are going to be playing with some shaving cream. And it has to be the original, not the gel kind that it takes a minute for it to foam up. You can't use that. You got to use the, the original. Uh, shaving cream formula. And what you're going to need is shaving cream, shallow pan. It can be on your tabletop. However, hey, you can get clean while you while you craft. But you can use a disposable pan. These are very well used. This is what I use for my shaving cream art. Uh, I got a pack of two for uh, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so you can get these pretty cheap. Or if you don't have the disposable pans, you can use the aluminum pans you have in your kitchen to make sure you clean them very well after you get done using them. You're going to need several different types of paper, whatever you want to use. I have uh, about four or five different types of paper sitting here that we're going to be using today. Um, you're going to need a skewer or bamboo stick or a popsicle stick. It's very well used. Hi Monica! Uh, it's very, very well used. Um, you're going to need some kind of texture tools of some sort. I have a little cone that has a rat tail cone that has the, the wide um, things, the wide spokes, whatever you call them. And it's also got the Sharpie tip. You can draw. You can also use this. But this is one of my texture tools whenever I art with this. So this is just purely an art tool. Um, something flat to scrape your um, to scrape your your shaving cream off your paper. Um, you're gonna need either paints, alcohol sprays, or water sprays. It doesn't matter. Um, you're also gonna need food coloring, which I have a whole box of. I have arsenal of food coloring so we have a lot to play with <clears throat> today you'll want to different kind of textures on your paper um, I'm going to be using photo paper I'm going to be using your coffee filter so guys go rate your your coffee cabinets 
coffee filters because these turn out really, really pretty. Um, I am going to be using this as a texture. It's bubble paper from a priority mail envelope. But as you can see, it has all kinds of really neat bubble textures. Maybe we can get some good prints from that. I've got some um, dictionary paper. Hey, happy, happy, joy, joy. Got some dictionary paper. I have some vintage encyclopedia paper. Hey, Jamie. Hope you're driving safe out there. Hope you all had a great holiday. Got some old vintage encyclopedia paper. You can smell the vintage on that. I love using this stuff. It makes really great uh, paper to um, decoupage with. Like if you're wanting to just uh, make things a little bit uh, stronger, this stuff I use. Hi, Jennifer. I um, also have different colors of paper. This is sort of like an acid color. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's an acid color. It's typing paper or copying paper. It's a, it's a thicker, it's a thicker copier paper. I'm not sure the weight on it. He was in the house, but he's at work. He's, he called me and says, where are you? I can't see you. I was like, I'm not live yet, darling. He said, oh, okay. <laughs> I've also got some blue paper. I've got a bunch of uh, typing paper over there on my, my paper station. And so if I run out, which I probably won't, I'm a paperholic. Hi, my name is Emily Welday and I'm a paperholic. True story. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, I've got different colored paper. I've also got your regular Flame Jane uh, copy paper. Just your paper from the Walmart or Staples or Office Max. It's your standard copy paper. Yeah, it is funny and sweet. Thank God. He makes sure I'm all right. And then I've got some um, white cardstock. We're going to cut into smaller pieces. I just This was a 12 by 12 sheet and I just cut it in half and we're going to cut this in, into even smaller pieces because I have a journal that I have commissioned and some of the prints that are going to be coming from this is going in there because she wants jewel toes. So we're, uh, we're playing and arting and preparing at the same time. So those are the things we're going to be using. I'm going to be using some stencils as well. We're going to try that. I don't think I've ever tried it, but we're going to be using some as well. I've been studying. I've been studying. And I've got some die cuts here that I'm going to be placing on the shaving cream to see if we can pull some prints off of. Just like basically the outlines of these. And these are going to be going in the journal as well when I get done. So, guys, uh, y'all, are y'all going to play along with me? Anybody going to go grab their husband's shaving cream and some uh, some sprays and paints and stuff like that and play along with me? Mm -hmm. I know some of your husbands shave. <clears throat> so, or husbands, boyfriends, fiancés, and all that. Aw, yeah, I've been... I've been dealing with some stuff. I've got some stuff that uh, that I'm really dealing with, but you know, I don't let it show. I try to keep a positive attitude here. Y'all have only seen me break down a few times, and when I did, it was it was for something important. But um, yeah, I try to keep a positive note. But anyway, guys, go grab your husband's boyfriend's fiance's shaving cream has to be the uh the foamy stuff not the uh not the green gel stuff that takes time to to, to blow up or re-lather together can't use that don't work trust me i tried it don't work <laughs> anyway get that can and shake that can up make sure it's good and leathered it get your pan out in front of you get your paper ready and get your inks and stuff and uh uh, I'm going to spray some stuff in there. She's doing all right. She had her first treatment, and she's feeling a little bit yucky, but she's in good spirits, and she's doing well so far. Doing well so far. So far, so good. I'm not going to tell a lot of the, 
the the details because it's not mine. Hey, Ray, because it's not my story to tell. Only if I have permission from my mother or my sister personally do I tell anything. But um, go get your shaving cream and your paint and paper. Let's go play. But anyway, I'm going to put you guys down to the desk, and that way y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, keep in mind that my when my phone is down and when I'm arting something serious like this, uh, I can't see what you're saying. So please uh, keep that in mind as uh, you type. My moderators will holler at me. Okay. She's doing well. She's in good spirits. I know what you were saying. But anyway, I'm going to put you guys down to the table and we will play. We'll see what we can come up with. Remember, I can't see. Okay. It's kind of a, a strain. Strain on the brain. Alright, let's see. Cap off that and now that we have that in there. <laughs> Spray your pan. You don't really have to have a thick layer because a lot of times you can get several prints from one um, one dose here. And I can make it go fur. Now, I'm going to be using the popsicle stick and what we're going to do is we're going to smooth that out. Make it as smooth as possible. Mmm. Keep a, a paper towel or a rag with you because you may want to wipe your hands off. Yeah. I don't get to play with this very often. Last time I played with it, I think Ray was with me. We made some really pretty prints. But she had some really pretty inks and stuff that she used. I think the, what was it? Um, we used the powders. Um, oh, what was it? Criminy. Um, right, I know you're in here. What dust did we use? What powder? Right, where'd my dry red go? Oh, that's my life. Uh -huh. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is to choose your colors. Magicals, yes. Magicals. We used magicals, and I don't have any of those, so... We gonna have to make do what we got. So my favorite go-to color is blue. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna post. No, he's at work. He's at work. It's gonna be a very long day. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place some just random dots on your shaving cream. Any colors you want. You want at least two or three colors to to do its magic. Let's place them. Need to get that a little bit smoother, but you know, the very first batch is always kind of wonky. Let's see what this color is. If it's another blue, that's okay. It might be the same color. You never know. Now, what you're going to do is take that skewer and let's play connect the dots. I'm going to take that skewer and we're going to run through the prints. Kind of sort of make it look like a, like a plant life. And that's going to be our first print. But you can use any type of paint or sprays to do this. Now keep in mind, food coloring does stain your hands. So if you're scared to stain your hands and you've got a big event coming up, please go grab you a, a set of rubber gloves, just as a warning. Alright, now that we got that, let's grab us some paper. 
All right, so first print we're going to put is just on regular plain Jane copy paper. Just place that on there. Now, the trick is, is to barely press where the color is because a lot of folks mis misconceive that you have to press hard on it. No, you do not have to press hard at all on this type of thing because the food coloring will stick to the paper. A lot of times if you've got it real heavy now, it will stick. Now what you do is you pull that up. Oh, that's going to be a pretty print when I next time I pull it. All right, I'm going to set this off to the side for a second and see what we have left. Now, this is where your flat edge comes in handy. I'm going to take a big old ruler, you see that? It's just a flat edge ruler, it's plastic. But I'm going to come in from the outside. I'm going to pull all of that off. And that is what's left from the shaving cream. Guess what, guys? I reuse this. I reuse the color on that. And so this is what we have left from the shaving cream. And look at the pretty prints. Aren't that pretty? It's very mermaidy. Very greenery. Very greenery. You can look at it from all angles. Very pretty. Alright, and the smell does stay on the paper. It smells like shaving cream. But, if you get the right kind, it smells really good, like this. But, um, it makes your paper feel very, very different. It has a very, very smooth texture, almost like it's got wax on it, but it's very, very soft, and velvety soft. It changes the, the structure of your paper just a little bit, and it smells good. It's, it's very soft. After it's completely dry, you can write on it, you can stamp on it, you can do anything you want to the paper. It's very easy. It's actually fun when you get when you get to when you get to play and it's very addictive just to see what you can print on and what kind of designs that you can make on something like this. Right. Let's bring that back. I'm going to rub this onto the edge because I will use that later. Let's put some different different patterns in here with this. You move your your inks around. You move your sprays around, move your paint. See what it looks like. See your fingertips to slightly. press on the paper. Now if you are not satisfied with the print that it that it made, you can easily put that paper back down into the shaving cream and re-pull the print. pull that because your paper is slightly damp. Hey Arlene! Oh, you might come over later? Alrighty then. I just seen your message, Ray. Sorry about that. 
Look how pretty that is. Same ink, same batch, but different in all, all its glory there. Look at that. Looks like a little fairy sitting there waving at you. Here in just a minute, uh, I'm going to add just a little bit of color. Just a little bit of color. That way we have some flowers popping in there. Looks like little morning glories. Love it. Very pretty. Now you will have just a little bit of residue left from the, the shaving cream, but I think that's what gives it the, the real smooth texture. I see what I mean. It does stain your hands. It's starting to stain already, but that's okay. A little bit of soap and water, a little bit of a scrub. We'll take that right off. Second print done. Okay, I'm going to do a um, book sheet pull or an uh, Hey Susan, I'm going to do an encyclopedia, I mean an encyclopedia page pull. Now this has a very slightly uh, shiny coat to it. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't think I've ever done this type of paper, so we're all going to find out what this is going to look like. Look at that. Wowzers. Hardly anything that's that I pressed has come up. Well, yes, I did. The shaving cream is what I mean. Look at that. Isn't that cool? The more prints that you pull and flatten that out, the easier it's gonna. It's the easier it is to pull a print without pulling all kinds of shaving cream into the onto the page. So you, there's hardly anything on that. anything at all barely and that's what you and you can even do both sides if you would like and I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to repull that and I'll put it on the up opposite side Again, look at that. I've got it on both sides. Like I said, a lot of these sheets that are, I'm pulling today are going to be going into the journal that I have been commissioned. So, um, the lady, if she is watching, will be seeing some of the artwork that's going into it. Right. Now, I'm going to do a smaller one and then I'm going to pull, put some color into it. This is dictionary page. Actually, now I need to pull a coffee filter one. See how easy that is? Look how rich those colors are. And this is just food coloring. Just imagine what inks will do. I mean, there's hardly any shaving cream on this, so I'm not even going to worry about pulling a ruler over across it. Oh, well, it decided it wanted to sit down in there, so let's do that. I don't want it feeling, uh, feeling left out, so let's pull another one on the other side. What did you do wrong? Well, the first couple of prints, Joy, you will have uh, a bunch of shaving cream because it's fresh. Now, the more that you do, the more it'll flatten out. But remember, don't press hard on your paper and it will become smooth like that. You see the smooth uh, texture on that? It's not lumpy like this stuff over here on the corners. The more you do it, the more it'll flatten out. And you can reuse this shaving cream for many, 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 many prints. I can get a good 20 or 30 prints from this one pan of shaving cream, literally. 
And that's what I'm going to try to do because you a lot of people waste their shaving cream because they think that you pull a few prints off of it, they got to wipe the whole thing out. No, 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 no. If you put it, if you put it, if you put the ink on real lightly and you do other things with it, you can reuse this same pan many, 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 many times over. All right, here's your coffee filter. How pretty that's turning out. I mean, coffee filters are a little bit thinner than your normal average paper, so you will have bleed through, so you won't have to do the opposite side of the uh, coffee filter. As you can tell, those are very, very strong colors. Blue and green are my favorite ones whenever I do the coffee dye, or not coffee dye. Oh, I gotta do that later. <laughs> I, got, I got coffee stain on the brain. I gotta do that later, but, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Go me, huh? You can also use a paper towel or a rag to wipe these off. And look how pretty that turns out. You don't have to do both sides, and it looks a lot like vellum. It doesn't feel like vellum. It's very, very soft to the touch, but it looks like vellum. And you can actually put stuff underneath it and still see through it. It looks like vellum, does not feel like vellum, but it has the same effect as vellum. It's really pretty as it dries, too. Right. Oh, I about put it back in, the, in there. As I said, you will have bleed through with those, so. Your hands will get stained a little bit from that. See that? Now, as I said before, we are going to put some color in this. We're going to add a couple of drops of red and maybe a few drops of yellow just to give it a little bit of um, splash, I should say. It looks like a lunch, but that's actually yellow. All right, now you want to get your tool, your pokey tool, your bamboo skewer, your whatever thing that you want to use, and we're going to move those colors around. Draw in it, make shapes, make flowers. And do whatever you want with it because it is your masterpiece. Whatever you want to do with it. See how this will turn out. Now we're going to use this acid looking color on this. I'm going to drop it down in there. Now just use your fingertips to pull the color. Lightly press, lightly. can already see, well, I can see anyway, the color starting to transform the paper on the opposite side. Make sure you get all the little corners of your paper. Now it's time to pull. Let's see what we got. Now 
we'll use our ruler. Flashes of color. Looks like little flowers just exploded on the page. It looks like, almost like a little fairy sitting right there. You see it? Oh my gosh. It actually is really pretty. It looks like, looks like a little fairy sitting with her hair down, sitting on a toadstool. If y'all can see it, or, or in a river of some sort. Very pretty. Like I said, very smooth. I can see a silhouette of her face, yeah. Yep. There's all kinds of things that you can see in this. I mean, these are going to be some very, really, very beautiful prints when I get done with them. I mean, that's what you can see on the back side. Y'all see how the color bled through? Looks really cool. It looks almost like an echo dye or an eco dye or however you say it. Really pretty. Alright, let's try another pull. Yeah. It is cool how they turn out. <clears throat> now let's let's pull some off of a There, and then I'll pull one off of the photo paper to show you that it works as well. Hey, Cheryl! See that? Use my rag here to wipe that clean so there's not much on here. And with thin materials like this, if you if you decide to use the uh, the ruler here to scrape it, you're going to end up uh, tearing your you're tearing your your paper, your coffee filter. And you can do this with just any type of paper that you can think of. You can even do it on material. But I haven't tried it on material. I've seen other people do it. But I think that you have to use the uh, the inks that are for material. But, you know, it's worth a shot. There you go. Like I said, it goes all the way through. So you have something on each side. Now, let's try this photo paper. See how... See how pretty it turns out. That's not photo paper. That's the cardboard inside the photo paper. Keep it safe. I need to get some more of that stuff. Alright, this is your regular glossy inkjet. Uh, paper. Smooth on one side, shiny and glossy on the next. So what you do is just place it down. Hello, Dana! Where's Marina? Has anybody seen Notbot come in here yet? Because she put in a new message for me because I'm not promoting it yet. But, uh, she's got my next auction... Uh, gonna be streaming through Nightbot. And I'll give y'all a heads up. Our next auction is gonna be on February 2nd at 5 p.m.
Hey, Tanya. Nice to see you, darling. So glad you're here. I haven't seen you in a minute. How are you doing? How's your treatments going? I've just been so busy with my sister and taking care of things here. It's just I haven't had a chance to really message a lot of people. all of her treatment. She's free and clear. That's awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. All right. See that? That's photo paper, guys. I didn't know you left, so welcome back. These would be really great backgrounds for some greeting cards, um, like tags, mixed media projects. This would be a really awesome thing to try out. You just gotta let that photo paper dry a little bit before you can touch it. Because it's still a little bit damp. I think it's really cool, little splashes of color. Now, like I said, if you if you are not satisfied with the black or blank spots, pop that baby back in the in the shaving cream where the color is, and uh, pick you up some more color. Also, say you have a bunch of this stuff that's still left on your ruler, right? And you've got some more paper. I'm just going to use photo paper since it's already sitting here. Take that and paint it back on. Paint your shaving cream right back on your surface. You'll be surprised what pretties you can get with just your leftover shaving cream, guys. Spread it on there like a piece of toast. Ready to see what's what happened with all this gunk here, all this extras. See all that yucky yucky mess? And guess what? That yucky yucky mess is gonna turn into something pretty. See that? That was with just your excess shaving cream in your in your your color. Very subtle background. Almost looks like a place, like a peninsula on an island. Mountains in the background or a field. Very pretty. How do you spread toast? You spread butter on toast there, Crafty. <laughs> I'm going to do another one because I still have some color in this. It's going to turn to mud after a while, but 
I'm going to get as much as I can from this. You never know what you're going to get with all those colors combined. That's just with your garbage shaving cream. I mean, you get some really subtle backgrounds you can use in your mixed media, your tags, your cards. You can do anything. Now I'm going to have to throw this messy stuff away, but that's what you get with just your leftover shaving cream. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of spray to it, a little bit of color on top, which gives it a different effect. This is just alcohol inks that I made myself. I'm going to see what this turns out to look like. Well, it will start to disintegrate some of the shaving cream that's on top if you use alcohol inks, but that's okay. Just a little bit of sprays on top. Almost looks like a floral print. Okay. Make that page a little bigger. You still have the shaving cream on it you can put another piece of paper on it yeah you can do like a uh, uh, do like a sandwich yes but the way I do it pull a lot of shaving cream up and it dries rather fast so I don't know And this is the encyclopedia paper. See, whenever I do it, I barely pull any of the uh, shaving cream up. So therefore, I still have a whole pan. You see how many prints I'm getting so far out of this one pan of shaving cream. See, hardly any shaving cream has come off of that. I don't know how it works, but I'm just really light-handed, I guess. I guess it's the uh, the pressure that I put down on the paper when I'm when I'm tapping it down. I'm gonna go ahead and print on the back side. See, I'm just barely even pushing it down into the, the shaving cream. Just barely. A lot of people push too hard and they pull a crap ton of the 
shaving cream up when you, there's no need in it. So make sure you have just a little bit of a, a corner where you can lift it up out of the shaving cream. I think I pulled a lot of that purple off, which I intended on doing. Covered on both sides. Almost looks like little flowers are growing. I think she'll like this journal because it's very her her speed. I'm thinking she's very eclectic, and so I've got to make something that's a little bit out of the ordinary that you normally wouldn't see in my works. It's the most challenging one that I have ever had to make, but it's the most fun. Okay, I'm going to do some mixing here. Again, and then what I'll do is I will pull the top part off. some white. Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't tried the blue, so let's try the blue on this one. And these are basic, like I said, basic sheets of copy paper. I think you're, uh, you're eight and a half by eleven, I think. And this pan fits them perfectly, so you don't have to, you don't have a lot of excess space and a lot of waste. You can use just about any color paper that you want with the brighter colors. Now, if you're wanting to use black paper, you might want to use like uh, shimmers, um, shimmer paints, in order for the uh, the colors to show up. And this is what happens if you use colors or colored paper you get your basic background color. Hey Kennedy! Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? even got prints on the back just barely it's really pretty okay, now. let's do some smaller pieces say about a big enough for if I wanted to cut this down into an ATC I could. So let's put this down.
Looks like I'm going to have to pull from the back side on that one, too. All right, guys. Let's pull these and see what we got. Oh, wow. These are going to turn out so pretty. Because of the purple in the background. See that? When you press, when you don't press very hard, you still have got all that shaving cream. And you're still getting all your color. And how many prints have we pulled off of this one batch of color? Quite a few. You do it just right. You can save a whole can of shaving cream and get a ton of prints. Gorgeous. Just think, you can die cut these, and if you've got like flower petals or uh, flowers, a flower die cut, you can easily cut these and make some really pretty flowers out of this paper here. Now, now that you've seen that that works. I have an idea. I've got to do some fairies. And so I am wanting to try this. I have a stencil here that I got from Miss Tanya and a Happy Mail that I've only used a few times. I want to try these and see what happens. I want to see what happens. Is I'm just going to place the stencil inside. Uh oh, there's a butterfly that needs to be poked it out. There we go. I'm just going to place the stencil down inside the paint and shaving cream. All right. Now, y'all see me doing this. First time I've ever tried this, so guys, bear with me. <laughs> if it don't work, it don't work. If it does, awesome sauce. Now, we're going to put this over top of the shaving cream and hope and pray that we pull the fairy prints from it. or not, but let's pray. Cross your fingers, ladies. Now, from what I've heard, when you do a stencil, and you want to keep the intricate design, is that you pull the color up and into the project, not outwards. worked a little bit. Wonder what it would look like with an embossment. Uh, did my mama want to show up? <gasps> she did! My mama wanted to see her! <gasps> Somebody was asking about you last night, mama. Oh, this one turned out really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. She's in here. Wow. 
Well, the one who texted me last night asking about Mama Wanda, please speak up. She's, she's asking who it was. So, it worked. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I'm so happy she's going to be. She's going to freak out when she sees this. It worked. I see better like that. She may have disappeared for a minute. Look how gorgeous that is. I love it. My little fairies. I love that one. That one turned out really well. Hi, Millie. Hmm. You know what? I don't know. I don't know what it would look like with an embossing. Like we might play around with that after we get done with this. Because guess what? My honey bunny got me for Christmas. Have you been listening? Look at what my darling sweet baby pie got for me for Christmas. Oh, Marina's in here. She's uh, working on not bot, so um, I'm hoping that we got he got well. I ordered it. I told him I wanted it, and so he said, "Go ahead and order it." So I'm hoping that I got a good one. Yes, I got a new heat tool. Thank you, Jesus. And so, um, do you do you, any of you know about this? I think Stacy had one of these once upon a time. I went on a hunt on the uh, on Amazon and I cuz I have Amazon Prime now with my phone service it's free. So yay, go me. So I'm hoping that this is a good brand. And plus it has a really long cord, not like my white one that I had or have. It's about to go heads up or toes up. I'm just wondering if this is a good brand. Has anybody heard of it and has anybody used it before? So, I might test it out today. Teresa's a brand. Oh, good. Good deal. Well, if Mama Wanda's got one, then I know I'm safe hands. I went on that because I was wanting uh, a Stampin' Up one, but from what I heard, they don't make them no more. I don't know. But Mama Wanda would know. I believe she is a demonstrator for Stampin' Up. She would know. I should have asked Mama Wanda first. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to try that again. See what happens. Oh, they do, but they're expensive. I figured. That one was only like $25, I believe. I really, really wanted it. He says, all right, order it. I'm going to try again on some paper. Let me see if I can get a little more. I'm going to get all of them. If I do, it'll be a miracle. Hey, Miss Cheryl. Well, Cheryl number two. We have a we have two Cheryls in here now. We have a newbie Cheryl, and then we have a Cheryl Hotfield. Unless she's got two accounts, and she's all in. Begin split. Now let's pull it. Uh, they're not as bright. I think I'm pulling a lot of the color off, but that one still came out really good. Yeah, there's hardly any shaving cream on here. I can use this as a background sheet because look, it still came out, but very, very lightly. This will be a good background sheet. Stampin' Up! is heat tools, $30 plus shipping and tax if you have that in your state. I don't know. I have three now, but two of them kind of like have taken a squat, and so that's the reason why I, have, I had to have a new one. 
it sounded like a, a car revving up and revving down, shifting up and shifting down. Okay. I don't have a bucket to put this in. You see how the shaving cream's coming up? It's a good thing. All right, now I'm going to do a reverse print. I'm going to slap this down on top of this. Let's see what happens. Will it work? I don't know. I got a lot of shaving cream coming off of that, but you never know. It's a try. I really don't want to waste the color that's on it. If it don't work, it don't work. It's worth a try. A lot of people would have stuck it in a buck of water. Me? No. I am frugal. I don't waste anything. I do not waste a thing. Bossing heat guns are not intended to run as long as you do for drying paint. Well, I'm going to try and use the old one to dry paint and use it as less as possible to dry, but if it comes to it, I'll have to. Alright, let's try this and see what happens. Alright, I'll have to clean that later. Let's see what happens. Even if it didn't work, pretty background. I think it turned out all right. Even if you can't tell what it is, it's a real pretty, like a color wash. I like it. I like it. So far, guys, I've pulled a lot of prints from just this, this one batch. This one batch. Right, I have not pulled very many white sheets, so I need to start pulling because I gotta I gotta fill a, a journal. So let's pull some pretties. I'll change it up here in a minute. I will use just about every bit of the shaving cream that's in here. Y'all know that new movie that uh, they made, they remade, Stephen King's It. Well, I got that for him for Christmas. And I'm deathly scared of clowns. But the movie It, I'm not really scared of because, um, I mean, I grew up watching that. I'm, but the new one, I swear, I think they, it's not as scary as the first one. I'm sorry. It's not as scary. I mean, they could have done, I think they could have done a little better on the clown, to be honest. The first one was creepier than the, the one that they have here. Oh, hey, 
Hey, Joe, what do you know? You snuck in here, didn't you? All right, now. Let's pull some of that up. Let me find my little plastic ruler that I usually use to do this. Got it hidden, hid away somewhere in there in this room. use some of that to paint on a page. It's just extras. Ah, Emily, don't bend your pan. I'm not smart. I'll take all that extra color. And we're going to paint. Spread it on, lather it on like you're icing a cake. This is all the extra shaving cream that I brushed off on the side that we are using up. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Malia. Now, we have that slathered on there, and i got to get this off of my ruler because i got to scrape it off. You never know what color you're going to get because all the colors are kind of inside the, the shaving cream when I pulled it up. So, let's see what we got here. See that? See how pretty that turns out with just your your waist shaving cream. pretty fence and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to lather it on. making this shaving cream go away in the same rag. I can reuse my rag instead of throwing paper towels away over and over and over again. Of course, you know you can use paper towels as artwork too. All right, let's take that off. That's how we've got it on both sides. So we have it here. Very toned down colors for your back. Very bright for your front. Still, we have a whole pan of shaving cream, and we've probably got a, uh, about a half an inch still in there. All right, now, let's try some heavier colors. And this is the Mermaid Lagoon. 
I had to, had to water it down because it was so potent and I got a whole other bottle of it out of that just by putting water in it. It's not as as bold, but it's very toned down. Oh yeah, I've done a lot of pulls from this one pan. One pan. If you guys are wondering, that was gold that I just put on there. Reese gold glitter inks. looks like underwater plants. Go perfect with the fairy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pretty. just a little bit harder than I normally do. I still see the bubbles. Now this one's going to get a bunch of shaving cream on it because I've pressed. Well, not as much as I thought. another pool with less white space. We have pretties. Pretty, pretty pretties. Alright, now I'm going to do a pattern with my little comb. Let's see what happens. I wish I had a smaller comb now. Or a shallow or pan, and I could do this. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was not working. I wish I had it. A smaller pan. It's ruining the effect that I wanted, but that's okay. Making it look like mustard. <laughs> oh well. I guess that didn't work. Oh well. Maybe I can do a smaller sheet. On that side that did work. Oh, I see that. See me make a blooper. I'll just salvage what I can. A big old spot. There we go. See what I mean about if you're not if you don't like what you what you see, plop it back down in there. You'll get a different. You'll get more color on it. See, you can fix it. There's no accidents, or there's no mistakes. There's just happy accidents. No mistakes in art. So you can always fix it. No matter what it is, you can always fix it. See that? See what I mean about scraping too hard? You'll rip your paper. FYI, right there. You would be adding more paint to the shaving cream? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, but I'm going to pull a few more of the lighter shades of color like that uh, for the journal because I need jewel tones. And so I have to have um, as much of, the, of this kind of thing as I can. We're going to count in the end how many uh, pulls that we got from this one pan. If you do it correctly, you'll get as many as I have. Why are there so many bubbles? See the big bubbles there? Guess what? My butt's going to plop it right back down in there. And we are going to pull some more just to fill in those white spots. What now? Someone on eBay just made me an offer for something I'm selling for more than I had it listed for. Oh, well, apparently they want it. Snatch it and run, girl. chance while it's got a golden opportunity.
Oh, well, thank you for coming in. This is a glimmer mist that I am spraying on here. And it's a water based, so it may make the shaving cream a little bit yucky. But I needed something a little bit lighter. And I've got a little bit of green on top of that, maybe. We can get some fairy ish colors coming from it. Oh, no, 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 I can't use that. That's too dark. <laughs> Maybe this will work. Yeah, that actually works. die cuts to make cute little prints inside the paper there. I mean, somebody's gonna come see me. Let's see what it did. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Use your die cuts, and your shaving cream make these cute little impressions. You can use it, like I said, these look like vellum pieces. This is coffee filters. I just pulled it. And the things that I have in the in the thing are just random die cuts. I'm gonna pull another one of those because that was really neat.
This is something you can do with little man. I think he'd have fun. With this. And you'd be able to clean all at all the same time. This would make a really kind of a cool thing to make for an album, like a baby album, or a baby journal. That one didn't turn out as well as the first one, but hey. Hey, Joe, how's your mom? Is she getting better? I watched your live stream and said that your mom had went downhill a little bit. I was wondering how she was doing. Oh, wow. Well, change your post uh, and say for the woman who has, uh, for the woman who is bidding, please contact. Please contact you. My friend has Crohn's disease. She was in Tennessee. She's been one of my best friends since we were in eighth grade. And she has Crohn's disease. Well, that one didn't turn out as well as I wanted. Dang on it. Might have been really cute, too. I'm going to try that one again. That one didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. son of a gun, isn't it? You don't want to pull. Am I making you sleepy, Cheryl? Very peaceful thing. All right, Kathy, go have some fun with little man. All right, now I'm going to pull these out. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's cool about this is it's actually got more color on it than I put uh, than than it had on it in the beginning. I'm gonna try and do a pull from just the prints that it made from here. Which I think would be pretty cool. Had 
something underneath it. Even though on this side we pulled the, the photo paper. Yeah, be kind of a cool for a card. I mean, it's even got a little open space there. I mean, I could make a card out of that, even with the open space there. Yeah, that's who I was talking about. I was asking about you, Mama. I don't know if she's still in here or not, but she normally is. smaller ruler. I might be able to do it this way. Nope. There you go. Roller, roller. Dying my ruler. Dang. I need my little one. for the brighter colors. I know she said jewel tones, but I need some brights. Bright, 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 bright. Not much shaving cream left in the bottom of that. That I can viably use. So I'll get as many pulls off this as I can. Yeah. 
So I think that actually turned out rather neat. Almost looks like a peek of fence. With the flowers growing on it. Get you guys. Yeah, I was kind of going for the flowers because the journal she wants the fairies, jewel tones. Uh, she's very eclectic, and so I have to figure out things that I can put in her journal for her pages, and so I'm thinking that a lot of these pages that I'm doing today are going in her journal, plus some coffee stain that i got to do tomorrow, so, um, or probably later, I don't know. But it will see. But I think the fairies will work really well with this. <laughs> it looks like a couple fairies jumping along. on it went too deep with that. Oh, I'm not rearranging any furniture in my house. I've already done that. i got to do a cleaning, though. The landlord's going to be coming in and checking the house out for like, an inspection, so i got to clean up the house. I mean, I don't, I don't need to clean much because everything is in its place, and if she can't understand that, well, she's just it's a little. Oh, 
Uh, what do you guys think? Those look like flowers. Gonna do all right. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I just got out of my mouth, and she said, "Yep, looks like flowers." It's amazing what you can do with shaving cream and a little bit of food coloring. some coffee filters. Oh wait a minute. No, I gotta I gotta do some dictionary pages. There we go. Did I use all of them? No, they're still here. I have some small sheets. Hi Julie getting nearly to the bottom of the pan and uh, we're nearly two hours in and we're still working on the same pan of colors and shaving cream so that tells you you can conserve look how pretty that is and you can get some really cool prints Some of these pages are going to be turned in the journal. So I want them to have as much color as possible. draws from one batch if you do it just right An amount of pressure just the amount of pressure you won't even ruin the image and you can pull a double print be real careful with it Every time I mess with ink, I get this. That's okay. Hot water and soap. A little bit of time. Good thing I'm not going anywhere important where my hands have to matter. Very subtle. see if I can get a double print. I have to put it somewhere where it has a lot of shading things. Well that's what these are going in as a journal. The commission journal that I, that I sold during the auction, that's what this is for. And if everybody's happy, I'll do some and I'll put some in a pack for the auction. Would that be all right with you guys to play around and uh, put some shaving cream pages in a pack for the auction in February? What do y'all think? Where did you buy them? That way you all don't have to get your hands dirty. I'll do it for you. See, that's a double print right there. You got the same thing. Look at that. If you're real careful with your with your shaving cream, you can you can actually pull a double print. Right. 
left now to add a little bit more color. bit of a, a vintage color on there. A little bit of orange. See, we're seeing the bottom now. We're getting to the nitty gritty. Pretty soon we're going to have to do the leftover pulls. And I've got a whole pan down here that um, I filled up with this one pan of prints. A lot of this dries. It dries rather quickly. You don't even have to hang them up. You can set them on top of each other. I think it's time for us to do the the uh, the, the pools that are left. To show you, you know how we painted it on the last time. Let's do some painting. We've got all this left. You never know what you're going to get out of this mess. All right, how many of you are just going to go raid your husband's uh, shaving cream cabinet? To play with some inks and some paints and stuff like that. Look at that. Look how pretty. With just the, what was left. Anything. Let's see. Kind of 
dollars we can get from this. This looks like a unicorn's dream right here. All them pretty colors just coming out on that paper. Hey, Tina! Just seen you, darling. I'm sorry. I'm playing in the shaving cream. I'm making a mess. <laughs> to get all this off of here. Yeah, they, the kids love doing this. It's a very clean activity, actually. Hey, far, don't even get the paint out. Just have them play in the shaving cream. Draw a picture and you get, you'll get clean at the same time. It's what a lot of art teachers do. Like, if they want to be clean with it, they grab the shaving cream and they clean their desks with it. <laughs> and plus, it smells good. Right. Uh-oh. Cheryl says she's going to be doing this. She's going to pick some up. Look, isn't that a unicorn's dream right there? Look how gorgeous that is. Leftovers. Leftovers, guys. Leftovers. Did I get the package yet? What are you talking about? The one that I sent out in the mail? I'll probably have to resend it. I went ahead and made some more up. And if, it, if, it, if, you, if you tell me that it hasn't uh, uh, came in the mail in the next few days, I'll go ahead and send, send it. I'll, I'll go ahead and send, out, send it out again. I'll put, I'll put it in a smaller envelope this time. Maybe it'll get to you because they say, That's okay, Tina. I can't either. Have you seen me type? Really? It's like my fingers have a case of the, the idiot syndrome. That is really pretty. I like that paper. Not scared to stain your hands? Get in there with your hands and spread it on. Use every little bit of that up. Sometimes the prettiest prints are what you got left of the shaving cream. Prettiest background. for me. So the next thing I need to do is just take a paper towel and lightly wipe that out and that'll be done. And reuse it. Alright, now let's see what we got off of this. Ah. 
There you go. That was the last bit. Last little bit of that color went out on the paper. No waste hardly. It's amazing what you can do with shaving cream. And a little bit of uh, imagination. Look at this sitting right beside me. Oh, cool. I guess I did something okay. This is not going to be the prettiest. This is just the it, the very last thing in the back in the in the thing. It's not going to be the prettiest. It's going to probably make all kinds of mud. But I needed to get it all out. I didn't want to waste that much shaving cream. So it went here. Unless I can use it. This one got a little messy. Sorry about that. Don't get seasick on this. Alright. That one is like ugly, but it was just the last little bit. Now, look at that. You see hardly any shaving cream left in that pan. We have used just about every bit of that shaving cream with no hardly wastes. Now we're just going to wipe it out. Hey, Bar, you could even use the napkin that you're, that you're using to, to wipe this out with. So technically, you've not wasted a single drop of this stuff. he likes doing this or not. I don't think he's ever done this type of project with me. It's very messy. He's particular when it comes to that kind of a mess. You should see him when he drops paint on the jelly plate. He's very precise where he drops his paint. <laughs> picky, picky, picky on that one. And so look at that. Huh. Very old vintage -y type of thing. So now we have a fresh pan and we're ready 
to go for the next round. Yeah, some people are picky. So, here in a minute, I'm going to count how many prints that we got out of that little bit of shine that we put in that pan. Alright, see that? That thing's full of prints. So let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, technically, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 technically, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So we've got close to 50 prints, guys, 50 prints from one pan. And you've seen how much of the shaving cream that I put on here and in the pan. I'm going to pull you guys up because I'll be working on some after the show. Yeah. So you could make these shaving cream, food coloring, and a little bit of spray. You can do it too. I'll get you some shaving cream from the Dollar Tree. That's where I got mine. All your supplies, basically, you can get at the Dollar Tree. You can get your paper. You can get your skewers. You can get your food coloring. Yes, food coloring. That's where I got mine. Dollar Tree has food coloring. Um, and then other things. I didn't even use some of my other texture tools that I even brought out. I got food wrapped up in it. My texture tools. I didn't even use those. So, what'd y'all think today? Y'all can place some more. I've got two pans. One I put one batch in and can put, oh, you can get two, two at once. Dollar Tree sells a pan of two for a dollar. But I've had these for over a year now. So, so simple things, simple, simple, simple things that you can use to make beautiful things. Very frugal and kid friendly. This one is anyway. And you can clean as long as you don't put any dyes or inks in it. Get your kids to help you clean your counters. Best tool in the world.
best tool in the world. So guys, um, remember to check out the group because I am posting five prompts a week on Mondays and it's a chance for you to uh, explore your art and uh, have fun with it. There's no prizes or anything, no giveaways. It's just exploring your art and what you perceive and what you can do with those five prompts. So be watching for those five prompts on Mondays. Um, we don't have any uh, thing going on except um, I'm going to be having a auction on February 2nd at 5 p.m. Um, this is going to be going towards for me to go to the doctor now because there's a lot of medical issues that I am having right now that I have to take care of that I pushed aside for my sister. Because my sister came first. So now I'm having to raise the money for myself to go to the doctor. I've not been in two years and I know what I know what it is. And what's doing all this. So I've got to raise the money so I can go to the doctor. No, I do not have insurance. No, I cannot get insurance because I live in Georgia and I don't have the proper IDs and stuff like that to do that. And I'm working on that. But I have got to go see a doctor for myself and I'm trying to raise the money soon, soon so I can do that. And so anything and everything helps. Um, I have a PayPal if you would like to uh, give a small donation if you'd like. Um, anything helps, guys. Um, please keep in mind that I do still have the GoFundMe uh, link up into up in the chat uh, for my sister. She still did, she still needs help. Um, she is um, going through her chemo treatments. Um, so, guys, if you would like to send her a card or a get well card or anything like that, and she, I don't know if she's in the address file or not, but if you would like to send her anything, please let me know and I will give you her address uh, with her permission. So, um, if you guys would like to send anything, please let me know and I'll give you her address with permission. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming in. Uh, hopefully, I inspired at least one of you guys to get out there and create and share your artwork. Um, if you are not a member of our Creative Jewels by Emily uh, Facebook page, please head over and send a friend request. We've got some moderators that will get you in there, even if I don't. I've got them, I've got them watching at all times. Um, also, if you're not a member of this channel, and you enjoyed the show today, please hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So anyway, guys, thank you all. I love you all. God bless you all. And if I don't see you before the new year, happy new year. I love you all. Bye, guys.